Remember this guy? I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. If you are a 90s or 2000 kid, you are wondering what kind of a skinny raccoon is that dancing all the time? Well, it's the ring-tailed lima. And in this video, I will make sure that you will be familiar with it. I will show you the violent and peaceful but ferocious and amazing ring-tailed lima societies, together with their anatomy and their conservation status. So stick till the end and let me know your opinions on the ringed lima down in the comments. The ringed tailed lima is the most international recognized lima species. Obviously, just look at its long black and white ring tail together with this guy. They are a medium to larger size Terypsian primate. Hey, you must be wondering what is a Terypsian primate. The Terypsini or the Terypsini is a suborder of primate that include the lem Lemuriform primate, which consists of the lima of Madagascar, Galagos, Portos from Africa, and the lorises from India and Southeast Asia, collectively referred to the uh, Sterepsians. So, those are Sterepsian primates, and you are wondering what about us, the hairless primates, watching this video. So, us humans, together with apes and monkeys, are known as halophine primates. So, the ringed tailed lima belongs to Lemuridae one of five lima families, which are the Eulima, Varesia, Hapalima, Prolima, and Lima. So, the ringtail lima is the only member of the lima genus. Like all limas, it is endemic to the island of Madagascar, where it is sadly endangered, known locally in Malagasy as Maki, and also in French is Hira or Maki. It ranges from the gallery forest to the spiny shrub in the southern region of the island. It is omnivorous as well as the most adapted to living terrestrial of the extant lima. The ringed tailed lima bugs are grey to rosy brown with grey limbs and dark grey heads and neck. They have white bellies, their faces are white with dark triangular eye patches and a black nose. True to their name, the ringed tail lima tails are ringed with 13 alternating black and white bands. Unlike most other lemurs, ring tails spend 40% of their time on ground, in which they move quadrupally along the forest floor. And the average body mass of adult males is 6 pounds or 3 kilograms. Females are usually smaller. Their tails can be up to 2 feet long in which is 61 centimeters. Like other lemurs, the ring-tailed lima has a claw-like nail, which is also called the toilet claw, and dermal ridges on its hand. To improve its grip, unlike other lima, it lacks fur on its heel. The ringed-tailed lima are highly social usual primate behavior, living in groups of up to 30 individuals. It is also a matriarchal system of power, in which their tribal or I mean troop leaders are queens, and it is a community among lemurs. And to keep warm and reaffirm social bonds, groups will huddle together. Mutual grooming is another vital aspect of lima politics and socialization, as with all primates. I mean, as with all primates. Reaffirming social and familial connections and also helping rid each other of any potential insect. So, it's a win-win. You get an ally on top of being clean. And the ringed-tailed lemurs are strictly diurnal, being active exclusively during daylight hours. Due to this lifestyle, they also do yoga, I mean sunbathe. The lemurs can be observed sitting upright on their tails, exposing their soft white belly far towards the sun. They will also have their palms open and eyes gently closed 
Ah, nothing beats sunbathing under the warm tropical sun. The ring-tailed group range over a considerable area each day in search of food. Up to 3.5 miles or 6 kilometers. All group members use this common home range and groups are often go to full out war. Whatever name you can call it. Tough war, gang war, territorial war, world war Lima, the great Malagasy war, the Fari wars, the Fari Wakanda war, with other groups with, I mean at the borders. And speaking of collateral damage, these baby mamas fight with their infants on their back. They go kamikaze into battleground with their babies on their back. The females are dominant within groups, meaning females have preferral access to food and choice of whom to mate with. This is unusual in the primate world. If you've seen any chimp documentary, you know what I mean. And males do have a dominance hierarchy though, even low ranking males are able to mate. The hierarchy among the ring-tailed lima females is not linear as in the daughters do not always assume the rank of their mother, like these piranhas of the bush. The one explanation for this pattern is that the ring-tailed lima mothers do not support their daughters in social interactions. So, no nepo babies within the ring-tailed lima society, as in the daughters have to fight tooth and nail to achieve their rank. So, females have been seen to have closer social, social bonds with other female relatives in a group that they do with unrelated females. These social bonds are established and reinforced by grooming and prosimian primates group in a rather unique way. All prosimians have six lower teeth incisors and canines that stick out straight out of their jaw forming a comb. This comb is used to groom their fur and their fur of other members of their social group. Speaking of, imagine being groomed by Freddie Mercury's teeth. As one of the most vocal primates, the ring-tailed lima uses numerous vocalization including calling for a group cohesion and predator. A lump like other wet-nosed primates or lemurs, this species relies strongly on their sense of smell, in which they use for territorial markings, with scent glands provides a communication signals throughout the group's home range. It's like texting, lemur style. The glands are located near the eyes, as well as their anus, ew. The males perform a unique scent marking behavior called a spa marking and will participate in stink fights. Okay, imagine you wet your hands with saliva and then you waft that handful of saliva at your opponent. Gross, right? But that is what the lemurs do. So, the ring-tailed lemurs douse their tails with their pheromones and wafting it at their opponent. Additionally, lemurs of both sexes will scent mark trees, logs, rocks, and other objects they found in that island called Madagascar by simply rubbing their faces and bodies onto it, not unlike domestic cats, obviously. The females spend their whole lives in their birth group, and generally, males change groups when they reach sexual maturity at age 3 like most primates. In addition of being listed as endangered in 2014 by the IUCN, the ring-tailed lima has been listed since 1977 by CITES under Appendix 1, which makes trade of wild-caught specimen illegal, although there are more endangered species of lima. The ring-tailed lima is considered a flagship species due to its recognizability. As of 2017, only about 2,000 ring-tailed lemurs are estimated to be left in the wild, 
making the threat of extinction far more serious for them than previously believed. Three factors threaten ringtail lima. First and foremost is habitat destruction. Starting nearly 2,000 years ago with the introduction of, you guessed it, humans to the island, forests have been cleared to produce pasture and agricultural land. The extraction of hardwoods for fuel and lumber, as well as mining and overgrazing, have also taken their toll. Today, it is estimated that 90% of Madagascar's original forest cover have been lost, and the rising population have created even greater demand in the southwest portion of the island for fuel, wood, and charcoal and lumber. Fires from the clearing of grassland as well as slash and burn agriculture destroys forest. Another threat to the species is harvesting, either for food, bushmeat, fur clothing, or pets. And finally, periodic drought common to southern Madagascar can impact population already in decline. In 1991 and 1992, for example, a severe drought caused an abnormally high mortality rate among infants and females at the Baza Mahafali Special Reserve. Two years later, the population has declined by 31% and took nearly four years to start to recover.